robot lawnmowers have been around for a while, just like robot vacuums, and more people are starting to use them in their gardens. One cool thing about these mowers is their use of perimeter wires to guide them, but the new Mamotion Lubare WD5000 doesn't need those wires at all. This robust mower can handle up to 1.25 acres and manage slopes, which is pretty impressive. You control it through a detailed app that lets you adjust the cutting height and plan where it mows, which is super handy. First impressions of the Mamotion Luber AWD 5000 The mower arrived in a big, heavy box with everything you need inside. An extra blade, a charging pad, cables, and a special sensor with a pole for setting up. The pots felt sturdy and high quality. The instructions were a bit sparse, so I ended up watching several tutorial videos to figure out how to set everything up properly, which really helped. Setting up the RTK station, the part that charges the mower and sends it GPS signals, was a bit of a challenge. I decided to mount the sensor on a pole instead of my house because of an overhanging roof. Finding a good spot took some trial and error because of all the trees in my yard and limited with these spots. But eventually, I found a good place where everything connected well enough for a test run. I secured the charging pad with some plastic screws and set up the sensor pole. After connecting the cables and setting up the object avoidance sensor on the mower, I placed it on the pad to charge. Meanwhile, I explored the app, which was a bit confusing. The app has lots of settings, but not much guidance on how to use them, so I had to experiment a bit and even looked up tips on Reddit. The mower took about an hour to charge fully. Then, I got to the fun part mapping out the mowing areas. Since this mower doesn't use perimeter wires, I had to define these areas myself using the app, which felt like playing a video game. I moved the mower around with my phone, setting boundaries and watching it handle the slopes in my yard like a champ. All in all, setting up took some effort and patience, but watching the Luber AWD5000 do its thing was pretty rewarding. Special Features The Luber Robot Lawn Mower includes several standout features that make it appealing to homeowners around the world. No perimeter wire needed. You don't have to bury any wires for the Luber Mower. Just use the app to walk around your lawn's edges while setting up a new mowing zone. The mower uses a real-time kinematic RTK system to stay within these boundaries accurately, even under weak satellite signals. App Connectivity The Luber Mowers app lets you manage everything easily from your smartphone. You can track the mower's location, set up no-go zones around play areas or garden furniture, and adjust mowing settings like the zone or cutting height. Collision Sensors Luber is equipped with advanced sensors that help it avoid collisions. It uses four ultrasonic radars to detect objects and will change direction if it encounters something. These radars can spot objects as small as 2 inches within a 220 degree field of view. For extra protection, it also has three bumpers. Off-road capabilities With four rugged tires and powerful motors, Luba can handle uneven terrain and climb slopes up to 38 degrees, which is about a 75% incline. Auto Recharge The mower has a large 10R battery that lasts about 3 hours. It automatically returns to its charging station when low on power and resumes mowing once it's 85% charged. Anti-theft protection You don't have to worry about theft with Luba. It has an anti-theft system that locks the mower if it leaves your designated area. You'll get notified and can track your mower using the app. Safety sensors Safety is crucial, so Luba includes several safety sensors. Front and side bumpers Change direction upon hitting hard objects Lift and tilt sensors Stop the blades if the mower is lifted or tips over. Blade fender Covers the blades to prevent injuries. Multiple zones Luba's multi-zone capability is perfect for large or divided lawns. You can easily manage different areas such as front and backyards through the app. Low noise operation Luba operates quietly at less than 60 decibels, so you won't disturb your neighbors even if you mow early in the morning or late at night. Water resistant and easy to clean with IPX6 waterproof protection, you can easily hose down the Luba mower for cleaning. It also has a rain sensor that sends it back to the charging station in bad weather, and it will resume mowing once the rain stops. Design When I think of the Luba AWD5000, sleek and sturdy definitely come to mind. This white robot lawnmower is pretty big and made from a mix of metal, thick plastic, and rubber. It's quite heavy, so lifting it is no small task. At first glance, it's clear this mower is made for all kinds of terrain. 
It has deep grooved tires, with the rear ones made of thick rubber and the front ones from hard plastic, designed to handle various ground conditions. The front of the mower features springs around the tires, which really come into play when it's mowing. With its all-wheel drive, it wasn't surprising to see it easily crawl over big roots and handle slopes without a problem. There are red lights on the side that light up when it's charging, and a slim, springy obstacle avoidance sensor on the front. This sensor helps the mower avoid objects without getting damaged if it bumps into something. Underneath, there are two blades that work together to cover a wider cutting area. The charging pad is slightly sloped, making it easy for the luber to roll on and off, and it lines up with prongs on the charging station to power up, though sometimes it needs a little nudge to connect properly. The RTK sensor, which I mounted on a pole, sticks into the ground behind the charging station. It's sturdy enough to withstand windy days as long as it's pushed deep into the soil. The long cords connecting the charging station to the outlets are a plus allowing you to place the RTK station quite far without extra extensions. The app looks nice, but could be a bit simpler to use. Even for someone tech-savvy like me, navigating it was a bit tricky at times. The mower itself is incredibly well-designed, complete with waterproofing and a rain sensor. It stands out among other robot lawn mowers. If the app were easier to use, this would be a solid 5x5 product. Performance after mapping out my yard sections in the app, scheduling the mower to start was straightforward. It always kicked off right on time. I got to choose the cutting height, path design, path spacing, and speed before it started. Once mowing, I could only adjust the cutting height. Any other changes required restarting the session from the charging station. The mower handled different types of grass and weeds at a good pace, up to 3.9 miles per hour, and managed ditches and slopes impressively well. However, it sometimes strayed beyond the boundaries I set, which was problematic when it ventured onto the driveway or into areas with decorative grasses I wanted to keep intact. It also occasionally nicked blades on garden rocks. Sometimes it didn't follow the grid path as expected, especially if the RTK signal was weak, leading to error messages or disconnections. The obstacle sensor did well in avoiding certain plants, but the mower had trouble remembering some obstacles, repeatedly bumping into them. Setting up no-go zones didn't always keep it within boundaries, and I often had to redirect it manually when it got stuck. From my testing, I concluded that while this mower works, it might be better suited for simpler, obstacle-free yards. The technology is promising, and with some updates, I believe it will improve significantly. For now, it's a decent option that does the job of cutting grass effectively.